So this is guest relations. Guest relations on celebrity is quick, easy, and fast. No long lines at all. Never seen a line there. This is the stairs. Look how they light up. They are just beautiful. This ship was redone, I think, in 2018 or 2019. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But uh, the remodel was superb. I mean, they did a great job on remodeling the ship. Um, everybody was nice. Guest relations handled uh, my, uh, my issue real fast and quick and easy. I was trying to get on the internet and I couldn't get on and they got it fixed for me right away. So I was able to do a lot of vlogging. I upload, was able to upload shorts and everything else. I'm just showing you around this part of the ship. That's the, um, just so you can just get a general idea of the layout of this um, cruise ship. It was nice. And the red thing you're looking at, that's my scooter. I ordered a scooter and it was delivered to my uh, room um, for me when I got there. So, uh, we'll see you in the next clip. So, this morning I had some sausage, patty sausage, really good. Some vegetables, some pineapple, and roasted potatoes. So this is breakfast aboard the Celebrity Day 2. And it's pretty tasty. They have a whole lot more, but it's too crowded for me to vlog. So I just showed you what I put on my plate. So these are the views from the Ocean View Cafe. Just gorgeous. Um, out overlooking the water every day for breakfast. It was very nice, serene. It would get crowded um, in the cafe. So I decided to do a voiceover because of all the noise in the background. But I hope you enjoyed this view as, as I did. Tonight's dinner starter, braised beef with ganache. So far, it tastes pretty good. Tasting is all messed up. Sorry, guys, I cut into it. But this is um, lemon pepper roasted chicken over pasta with a marinara sauce. And it's good. It's really good.
we decided to go to the martini bar um, and we had a fabulous time listening to music and having drinks uh, it was great as you can see they're doing the darn thing Some people were in the pool and the water was just splashing because the boat was just a rocking and a knocking. I mean, it was going. Um, it, it was a great, great night. It was uh, beautiful weather out. So we just uh, did a little walk around and that was it. So we made it to Cozumel, Mexico and Right here, we have a mango margarita. I forgot what Paulette had. Um, we got pico de gallo and chips and guacamole and chips. We're at this restaurant called Margaritaville, and it's right on the port. We didn't go off the port. And so here's a view of what we see. Um, that's the Millennium by Celebrity, and we're next to it. We're the summit by celebrity and it was so beautiful and right here i am letting you know about the pe the mango margarita and i'm getting ready to um, give you a taste of it i had to do a voiceover because of the music and um, i took a little sip and that was legit okay that was the really really good it was it was a great um, and it tastes absolutely divine. So if you're ever in Cozumel, stop at Margaritaville. It was delicious. And we have pico de gallo and um, home cooked chips. Look at these chips. And they do pico de gallo. They don't do salsa here. So we're going to taste this and see how it turns out. That's the good thing. Look at those fish, guys. Paulette is feeding them and they're coming. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. Mm. 
I bet you if you lived out here, you ain't got to worry about catching no fish in that beautiful blue water. All right, so let's see what this is tasting like. Regular people that I, that I own, you can take a taste of lime in it. Now the chips, they are right. We in Mexico. I just, I guess I'm used to the um, American version. Because <laughs> these chips taste like something that is um, carb balanced. Um, they don't taste well in, Cal in the U.S. You know, we got all that stuff, processed stuff off in our foods and stuff. So maybe that's what natural chips taste like that's not full of all kind of processed mess. But it has a, it don't really have a flavor to it, but it's kind of bland. It tastes like a healthy chip. That's the best way I can describe it. I'll be back with the tacos. So I decided to stand up and I was, you see my chair over there. I'm giving you guys a look at the sign Margaritaville, a uh, better look at the restaurant um, from the other view. I showed you the water, so I want you to see how the restaurant looked. It was really nice. It was a nice restaurant and it was uh, sitting right on the port. We didn't, like I said, we did not leave the port. We just rode around. They had a lot of stores and things like that, um, that we went into a lot of shops, um, Cause I didn't know how far I could go with my scooter, and um, so we just did the port. Okay, guys. And here is, is here. our lunch. And uh, this I did steak tacos, street tacos, and we they have steak were street, street tacos. delicious. Well, I, have the same I know thing. you guys are tired of hearing me say that. These are the three this sauces. food was awesome. Is spicy. <laughs> so um, so we'll I'm getting ready, ready to uh, in. dig in. I just Margarita want you all to see it, Cozumel, and then I'm gonna take a little taste uh, while you're. Here. So here I go. Um, let me see. And I'm asking you guys, do you guys want to taste? <laughs> While well, I'm not even in the camera. <laughs> so you get to get a close up look of it. And so I'm going to go on in and take a little bite. Normally don't eat on camera, but I wanted to, you guys to see me actually eating on camera. And I'm letting you know that it's very flavorful. That's what I was just saying. It is very flavorful. I have to do a voiceover once again because of music and copyrights. So I'm going to take another bite. They were really good. Really good. So that's it um, for this part of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, you guys. Well, we made it back to the ship. One thing about uh, Summit, they give you fresh infused water and hand towels, cold, ha wet hand towels, so you can wipe the sweat off your face if it's too hot. I didn't need anything. I wasn't too hot, so I was fine. Paulette, she did a lot. She was walking. I was riding <laughs> on my scooter. So she got her um, a hand towel. And this is the lounge area they have outside the ship where you can sit outside the ship before you board. Loved it. Hey guys, so this is Cozumel. Cozumel, Mexico. We've been out and about and we're back on the balcony. Great view, just enjoying the scenery. Margaritaville was great. Got some of their little cheap jewelry. <laughs> we walked around. Everything is beautiful. Nice day. Sitting out here, we got a nice, cool breeze. And um, this balcony is everything. It's very, very comfortable and nice. And the waters is just blue. I mean, when I say beautiful aqua blue, just gorgeous. And you can just see the fish all over. It's 
So if you're thinking about doing a cruise, think about celebrity. It's a small ship. It's not gigantic. You don't have to deal with a lot of people, a lot of waiting. It was such an easy get on and get off. No lines, no nothing. You go to guest registration, no lines. I mean, it may be one person in front of you or two, but so far everything has been absolutely great. And I would do it again. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm gonna get you later. Just wanted to let you see Cozumel, Mexico. Okay, so here we are at the Tuscan Grill. It's not Tuscany, it's Tuscan Grill. And it was a fabulous restaurant. We're there for our anniversary. And it was so nice and romantic. So I'm going to show you what we're having. Starters. We started off with pork belly, barbecue pork belly. It was delicious. My first time trying it. We had some uh, meatballs. They were good. And the fried calamari was excellent. Um, we had Moscato for our drink. Here I had a ribeye and uh, lobster ragu ragu and spinach. Paulette had a steak as well as the spinach and a baked potato. And for dessert, they surprised me with a cake for well, our anniversary. They, um, it gave us this was for beautiful my and my birthday, and we had that sent to the room. This is beautiful. And we're going to have them wrap it up and take it to our room.